Hey everybody, welcome back to the Villain's Guide to Wasteland 3. Today we have a build that makes clever use of mechanical companions as well as being able to laser down any opponent he encounters. So pack your utility slots with extra turrets and saw pups because today I bring you the Tinkerer of Terror, the inventor of Sanchezium, and of course the smartest man in the universe. This video will be the last video guide I make for Wasteland 3. I have a new project in the works though so don't worry. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. If you're digging the video, please smash that like button. But for now, enjoy the video. Today we'll be looking at the Rick Sanchez build. He asked us for help to find parts to fix his portal gun right after he called us idiots because we didn't have the parts he needed. So we geared that crazy drunk right up and put him to work. Rick Sanchez specializes in weird science, mechanics, nerd stuff, and assault training, mainly submachine guns. The synergy between the perks in these trees allows energy driven submachine guns to really shine, while also being able to throw out a bunch of robots, sidekicks, and decoys, as well as being able to wield some of the juicy weird science technology and being able to hack enemy robots. Every robot is super useful and work very differently, but they all do one thing absolutely outstanding. They eat bullets. All the bullets. The AI in this game loves to aim at the out of cover vulnerable little robots, which is perfect for us. And by the chance they happen to have any robots or turrets themselves, we will have no problem hacking them or taking them down. Add that with a submachine gun that chews opponents up and what you get is a tinker of tear. First we'll focus on coordination. To be able to have AP to throw robots, move, and shoot in the same turn. We'll then speed that up by adding points to speed. That also helps us to be able to trek across the battlefield quick to shut down any annoying turrets or robots. Lastly I recommend splitting your points up equally between intelligence and awareness for the damage, crit, and hit chance increase. For the skills, we'll prioritize automatic weapons to gain the hit chance we're missing by grabbing awareness late. This also lets us grab some of the best perks in this build early which help with the damage output. We'll then grab weird science to be able to overcharge our guns as well make use of microwave research. Then split the rest of your points between nerd stuff and mechanics evenly. The useful perks are early for both so don't worry. And my mechanics are only so high in this video because I had a toolkit and a machine shop helmet on. For our background, Goat Killer is a good choice, but we want to make use of the Reckless perk as much as possible, so we'll be going with Sex Machine. The quirk is the same thing. Circus Freak plus Sex Machine equals 6 points into speed for combat speed. The usual suspects are also a fine choice. Sadomasochist, Serial Killer, and even Two Pump Chump, even though I wouldn't recommend that one because of the loss of hit chance. We're going to grab quick reflexes to try to trade off some of the evasion loss we gain by grabbing Circus Freak. Go for Hunter for getting an accuracy bonus at those hiding behind annoying cover. Reckless is a fantastic perk allowing us to get a 15% damage increase when not in cover. Couple this with our high combat speed to get to safe cover after shooting. Stormer. Again another perk that synergizes well with the perk Reckless and our high combat speed. Make sure to shoot right after moving and gaining this buff or you'll lose it. Targeting Override Makes any target we hack instantly become the enemy target, giving us breathing room. Handy Gives our turrets and other robot buddies more health and damage. Overcharge is fantastic for just 1 AP. I recommend using this as your first action and try to make it a habit. And Microwave Research Energy damage is increased 0.5 for every point of armor they have. This scales amazing into the late game. Rick Sanchez is a half mobile flanking unit and half summoner. Sprinkle in a little hacking and weird science, you get a truly unique class that is able to take control of the battlefield however he sees fit. I appreciate you for staying until the end of the video. If you liked it, please throw a thumb my way. Subscribe for future content. And as always, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch.